Hello everyone, today we're in the Mirage 2000C. We're looking at CCRP bombing, continuously calculated release point. This means that we fly the plane, but the weapons control system, the computer, actually drops the bombs. Now the two types of bombs that use this CTRP are Mark 82, 500 pound slick unguided weapons and guided weapons. On the central pylon we can take the laser guided bombs, two times GBU-12, 500 pound laser guided bombs, or one GBU-12, or one GBU-16, or one GBU-24. GBU-16 is a 1,000 pound variant, a GBU-24 a 2,000 pound variant. Let's go for the big one, shall we? The GBU-24 in the middle and then on pylons four three and two and the symmetrical other side we're going to have fill it up with mark 82 this is 500 pound slick unguided bombs it can carry four there essentially and another four on these outer pylons two per pylon on a special rack or a single ones on these outer pylons so if we load up like that we've got eight slick mark 82s and one times gigantic laser guided gbu 24 let's arm up look at the size of that gbu that's going to make a big bang and the next thing is we have to set the laser code up on that GBU so that it matches the laser that's being fired out there by a third party. It's going to be a Reaper drone out there. Now we don't have the ability to fire our own laser. We can use third party lasers only. That is telling us that we are in the wrong configuration for this type of uh, loadout. So we need to go in air to ground configuration. That's fine. So what we're going to do is right shift and kilo. And we can see we've got our laser code here. We've got 1688 at the moment. And that just so happens it's the same as the, what the guy is lasing out there. But if we wanted to change it, you could use right shift, alt, and 9 to change that digit. Right shift, alt, 0. And right shift, alt, dash to change these digits. So that's how we would actually change these digits. So to drop the bombs, we're going to press and hold weapons fire. To designate a CCRP ground target point, we're going to press uh, that one there. So... AD designate to initiate our HUD CCRP symbology weapon system command forward if you want to deactivate the CCRP symbology from the HUD we've got aft and we've also got depress which will allow us to undesignate a designated ground target first thing master arm on next we can choose our bombs we'll do the mark 82 unguided bombs first that is BL1 we're going to click there we have two types of targeting radar base or two types that we're interested in here radar base TAS and radio altimeter base RS it's good practice to select both so that if one fails we have a backup so we're going to have RS and TAS selected we need now make sure we have our radar on emit also we have to make sure we have our radio altimeter on so radio altimeter H there and on there so our targeting is now set up next we want to fuse arm our bombs. We're going to set the explosion, the fuse, to instant. And we can set the amount of bombs that we drop at once. That if it's more than one, it's called a salvo. So I want to drop four Mark 82s at once. The reason is that this unguided CCRP type of aiming isn't that accurate. And so just to make sure of the kill, I'm going to set it to four. So we drop all four at once with a distance between each of them as zero meters. So they all drop pretty much at the same time. Okay, next we need to select our CCRP HUD symbology. We press special mode forward to get that. And you can see we've got our symbology. We can see that we have the BL bomb selected, which is, yep, BL1, that's the Mark 82. Uh, we've also got our CCRP designator here. It's this little diamond with a dot in it. And what we need to do is move that over to where we believe our target is, well, exactly where our target is, and then press the AG designate button. That will lock in place a CCRP ground target. So we need to go and find a target. Our Reaper drone has very kindly marked a target for us with smoke. You can see it back there. So we want to get speed and altitude, 400 to 500 knots in a 20 degree dive is going to be our best configuration. So we're going to get the power on, get the speed up, get the altitude up. We're going to zoom in on our HUD and we're going to move our CCRP designator right onto where we believe our target is. So. Uh, there. What we've got now is instructions presented to us through the HUD of where to fly. All we're going to do is fly as the computer suggests. The actual bomb drop will be done by the computer. That's how CCRP works. So first of all, it's telling us how to roll left and right. On the sides of our CCRP icon here, we've got wings there. So it's telling us currently to turn or roll so that that wing there and that wing there become perfectly level across there like that. In terms of the altitude of the pitch, it's actually up to us. We can do this going diving in, we can level out, we can even ascend slightly, I think, and drop the bombs. So what we're gonna do is do a relatively shallow dive at this point. We're gonna kind of aim towards that kind of area. So the CCRP will adapt itself to however we wanna do this in terms of pitch. 
Speed as ever, about four to 500 knots. Uh, keep us nice and fast. It just makes us a harder target to hit. As well as that, we will have a timing line. When we're near to dropping, the timing line will appear. It'll be a flat line. It'll start at the bottom of the HUD and go upwards. When it reaches the CC RP symbol here, the bomb will drop. The important thing is that when the timing line is moving up, as soon as we see it, we press and hold the trigger until the bombs have dropped, at which point we can release the trigger. So I'm going to unpause now, try and get this right, level out a little bit, and I'll try and flatten the wings here. I'm going to wait for my timing line now. So I've got it nice and flat. Get ready to press and hold trigger. Press and hold. Bombs away. Blast. And we've gone long. That is a bit annoying, but that is typical of what I've been finding with CCRP at the moment. Now, annoyingly, it didn't used to do this. When I did my old tutorial reels a year and a half ago, they always used to hit bang on target. So I'm not sure why they're going long, but I've got my other guys to test this out, and they've got exactly the same problem at the moment. So if anyone knows why the CCRP slick bombs are going long at the moment, please let us know. Next, we're going to drop our Mammoth GBU. So, we're going to click on our GBU there. Everything else is set up already around here. We just want to drop one of them. In fact, we're going to go back to zero because we don't want any salvo at all. We've got instant detonation on. I've already spoken in the background. I've spoken to the Reaper and he's told me he's lazing on 1688. So, we're going to go around and basically repeat the process. So, I'm going to make sure I undesignate now by pressing the undesignate button. It will do it automatically, but it's just good practice to do it yourself. We're going to go in for the same type of profile and essentially repeat the process now with the GBU. You can see it says EL here, so that's our laser guided bomb. Okay, here we go. Let's get our designator on target. You see our bombs there, about 100 feet long. Going to guard target roughly, but well, we'd have to be perfect in this case because it's a laser automatic bomb. So we've got our point mark there. Now we've got to follow our symbols and do exactly the same. So keep wings level. Wait for the timing line. Increase the speed a little. Oh, we can do this, I mean, from any altitude, really. Because it's a standoff weapon, you would usually do it from up high, 20,000 feet or above, to keep you, press, to keep you out of harm's way. But you don't have to. You can do it down here if you really want. Okay, we should see a track. There it's caught the laser. And this time, there's no missing. Boom! And now we want to cancel our CCRP symbology. So we're going to use weapons mode aft that's that cancel back to navigation and that's it so that shows mark 82 slicks fired in a salvo and using gbus without a salvo on a third-party laser hope that was useful see you later